So the purpose of this video is to show you how to come up with an Excel graph based on data that's similar to what you're doing in the lab. So in the A column you'll put your temperature data and I'm just coming up with some random 1 over Kelvin data, 1 over temperature data here and those are temperatures that are in Kelvin. Your data will look similar to this. But it won't be the same. And in this column, the B column, you'll put your natural log of K values and they're going to look something like this. They're going to be negative values most likely. So there you go. That's what your data will kind of look like. You'll have your X values here in the A column. You'll have your Y values here in the B column. Then you'll select all that data and then you'll go to insert. Now this is going to be different depending upon the version of Excel that you're using. But every version of Excel has a way that you can insert a chart. So you go to insert and the chart you'll choose is going to be the XY scatter chart. This one here. So your graph will look something like this. And what you can do is, well you can change the chart title for one. And that'll be graph of 1 over T versus ln of K. And then you'll have art, add chart element and you go to add axis titles. We'll do the X axis first. And that's going to be 1 over T. And the unit there is going to be 1 over K. And then we'll do the y-axis, primary vertical. And I'm just going to delete the axis title there and put in ln of little k. All right. Now after we've done that, then we can click on one of these points. And you'll notice it selects all of the points. And then we right-click on one of those points and we click on add trend line. So there's your trend line there and then what you want to do is click display equation on chart. All right, there's your equation here. Your equation is going to look somewhat similar to this. I'm going to enlarge this so you can see it a little bit better. Uh, we'll make it 20. All right, so there's your equation here. So it's a line of the form y equals mx plus b. So the y-intercept is going to be 1.5675. The slope or the m value is negative 3608.7. And you see the y is going to be your ln of k and the x is going to be uh, the 1 over t that you see here. But that's how you're going to be able to pull up the slope value without having to calculate it.